put the nail in the coffin of legacy manufacturers is what everyone's discussing about Model 2. After being revealed quite a lot recently, it still hasn't stopped. A sign that Tesla may develop this EV Gen 3 with a design inspired by the Model X. Elon Musk has admitted this. In addition to the production line, with support from Tesla bought, a series of features of the $25,000 electric car also gradually being revealed. Two seats, two variants, and stainless steel are highly anticipated in the community. So, why will the official design of the Model 2 be like Musk once said, future looks like the future? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel. Before we begin, please show your support by subscribing if you haven't already, and ring the bell so you won't miss out on any of our interesting videos in the future. Now, let's get started with today's content. Before Musk mentioned the new shape, Model 2 was once believed to be related to the teardrop design of the two-wheel, two-seated Aptera without a rear trunk. If you think this is absurd or baseless, this perspective is also correct because beyond aerodynamics, Aptera is considered unattractive to customers. However, this is not without speculation as Aptera is also sold at a $25,000 price point for a range of 260 miles and a photo with Volhausen suggests a familiar design. But recently, Musk has done something that's made us think. How did Musk reveal the new design of the Gen 3 electric car? Specifically, recently, the Tesla Economics account posted an image of an extremely innovative design vehicle with a caption, a $25,000 Tesla compact vehicle put the nail in the coffin of legacy automakers. It wouldn't be unusual if this photo received little interaction or if people involved didn't comment on it. However, it was quite surprising when Musk praised it as a good design. Although the Tesla owner left a relatively brief comment, it made us think and pay considerable attention. Could this be a design that Elon will consider, which at first glance appears compact and aerodynamic, yet carries a distinctive Tesla feature, the Falcon Wing? Yeah, the next crazy thing is that maybe Tesla took the most valuable highlight of a $79,990 EV for a $25,000 entry-level car and what will happen when the Model 2 is designed. So, maybe you will immediately think of a production hell for this car, or worse yet, the price will increase a lot compared to what we always expected. Musk has talked about huge volumes for this EV generation, and it's estimated to produce 2 million units per year from Tesla's three existing Giga factories and one under construction – Giga Texas, Giga Berlin, Giga Shanghai, and Giga Mexico. Elon Musk has a strategic plan to reach a lifetime goal of up to 42 million units for this $25,000 electric vehicle. Let's analyze this design first. Indeed, at first glance, this design appears to be a blend of Tesla's products like the Model X and Model Y, with a sleek, elongated headlight design reminiscent of the Model 3 Highland. After all, it still carries the design of a two-seater, two-door vehicle similar to the Aptera. On the other hand, with the introduction of Falcon wings, the Model 2 looks more elegant and futuristic than ever. To us, such wings seem to account for a value of $5,000 to $6,000 of the $25,000 price of the Model 2. With only two Falcon wing doors that can lift up, Tesla only needs to focus on attaching these doors at the front of the car and ensuring a snug fit upon closure, eliminating the complexity of hinges. The Falcon wing doors will create a unique effect for a very affordable Tesla, revealing both front and rear seats when opened, eliminating the need for four doors. Tesla will ensure that the doors are electronically controlled through a 48-volt system. You know, it's a distinctive feature of the Model X, and the Model X is by no means inexpensive. However, as we know, the EV Gen 3 is the simplest car in Tesla's lineup, and the manufacturer can eliminate some other details to focus on the highlight, the Falcon wing doors, similar to the Model X. This way, the cost won't be pushed too far away. What do you think about this design for Model 2? Please leave a comment below. Many argue that the $25,000 electric car could have a sedan style similar to the Model 3. But in any way, when looking at the overall design, we still find it reminiscent of modern hatchbacks. It's easy to see that the hood is more meticulously designed, and the rear is slim but not too short. Believe that, 
Tesla is still missing the hatchback segment from its collection. And 60%, we can expect this to be the manufacturer's choice. For Tesla to be able to produce such a large quantity quickly, they will employ the unbox process, meaning placing the vehicles together at separate locations for pre-assembly before the final assembly where everything comes together simultaneously. Why will Tesla Model 2 shake up the market with new trending technology? As Elon Musk stated, the Model 2 will feature a unique production line never seen before, representing a revolution in Tesla's new generation of electric vehicles. It could serve as the catalyst for Musk's future projects, including the RoboTaxi, Cybervan, or other affordable models. The Tesla Bot Gen 2 is highly likely to accompany the Model 2 in the first production facility in Texas, operating in tandem with the assembly line machinery. Now, let us take a look at some of the information that is said to be highly likely to appear on the upcoming Model 2, including two variants will be released, stainless steel, two or three seats, a range of 210 miles, and a separate gigacasting machine of up to 16,000 tons. All are impressive enough to create a masterpiece. If this electric car is developed with at least two versions, such as a single motor and dual motor, or it could be the Model 2 standard range and long range, it would be a smart strategy to meet the diverse market demands. Our prediction for the standard version's range is around 210 miles while the premium version could reach 260 miles, priced at approximately $28,000 to $30,000. This is a plausible estimate and also demonstrates flexibility in both price range and model performance. Model 2 is unlikely to have tri-motors as it would add complexity to the production process and raise costs, which is unnecessary for a simple car like this. Instead, Tesla may offer an extended range option of up to 300 miles if customers genuinely require it for EV Gen 3. And of course, it won't be as expensive as the suggested $16,000 price for the Cybertruck. In the part of Texas where we live, the average one-way commute time for drivers is 27.6 minutes, equivalent to about 55 minutes per day or 41 miles in a round trip. With a commuting radius of 200 miles, the majority of driving scenarios are comfortably accommodated. This convenience is further enhanced by the development of several Tesla models with autonomous charging capabilities. The reduction in battery weight translates to increased efficiency and reduced operating costs. With the criteria of fewer batteries, less weight, high efficiency, and low cost, the number of miles per trip decreases, creating an efficient and cost-saving personal transportation experience. Who wouldn't want to save costs while minimizing environmental impact? The voltage architecture should also not be too advanced. Tesla would be smart to maintain a low voltage of 24 volts instead of 12 volts, and 400 volts is a good choice for Model 2, not the expensive 800 volts to create production hell. What do you think about this? The Model 2, with a reduced seating capacity compared to its predecessors, the Model 3 and Model Y, asserts its commitment to minimalism in design from the moment it appears. Without the need to maintain the five-seat structure like previous models, the Model 2 confidently chooses the path of simplicity and efficiency with two or three seats. In this, we notice that the passenger seats can be removed to accommodate cargo. The car can be ordered without passenger seats. While some may perceive the absence of a full five seats as a limitation, this decision not only helps optimize the manufacturing process for simplicity, but also maintains the commitment to affordability that Elon Musk has emphasized. In contrast, we are still hoping for the availability of five seats for the Model 2, as it would align with the majority of customer preferences and maintain competitiveness within the $25,000 to $30,000 price range against Chinese automakers like B1D, New, Xpeng, and other competitors such as GM or Volkswagen. However, if it is 10% smaller than the Model Y, fitting five seats might be constrained and passengers may be limited to children rather than adults. Having five seats is particularly crucial when considering the European market and the involvement of Giga Berlin in the production of the Model 2. All newly manufactured and sold cars in Germany must have at least five seats. For used cars, those with four seats are still allowed to circulate. 
This requirement forces Tesla to create multiple versions of the Model 2 to comply with European regulations. It might be a significant step with many challenges, but it will demonstrate that the Model 2 is not just a car, but also a dynamic work of art with flexibility in seating capacity. Do you like the simplicity or completeness of this futuristic EV? Again, let us know what you're thinking in the comments down below. Tesla is currently focusing on adopting stainless steel as a crucial step to replace traditional materials like aluminum and conventional steel, which face sustainability challenges. It is anticipated that the Model 2 will predominantly use stainless steel HFS, but with a more refined approach. The thickness of this steel layer will be reduced to 1.4 millimeters instead of the 3 millimeters used in the Cybertruck a choice that strikes a balance to keep the vehicle lightweight, flexible, and more durable compared to traditional materials. Likely, Tesla won't paint this stainless steel layer as it would reduce costs for painting and painting time. Instead, they may offer a wrapping option similar to the successful model of the Cybertruck. This provides customers with the opportunity to customize their Model 2 in a personal style and stand out on the streets. However, all of these are only estimates and assumptions. We need time to see the progress and the final decision from Tesla. Furthermore, in previous episodes discussing the Gigapress, we analyzed why the Model 2 could have its own press machine with a dedicated mold. Yes, Tesla could invest in a 16,000-ton press for this affordable electric vehicle, as the current 9,000-ton type is exclusively used for the Cybertruck. However, the hypothesis involving the open-box process seems somewhat contradictory and we still lean towards the use of the large press. With the new Giga Press, Tesla could cast the entire chassis of the EV Gen 3 in one go, optimizing the frame to the best extent possible and achieving rapid production speeds with a target of 42 million units produced over its lifetime. Why Tesla FSD Beta version 12.1 could be available to mass customers as early as 2024. Recently, thousands of new Tesla Model 3 and Model Y vehicles have been observed preparing for export from Shanghai South Port. During this period, Tesla has officially commenced the rollout of the highly anticipated beta version 12 of full self-driving to a wider audience. This comes after the system was initially provided in limited quantities to Tesla employees in November. The Tesla Scope software update tracker confirmed on Wednesday that FSD Beta V12.1 has started rolling out to the first wave of vehicles, including over 15,000 personally owned Tesla employee cars. The new version has been widely anticipated throughout the year, as it is expected to bring significant improvements compared to previous versions when transitioning to operating based on neural networks to drive in city areas. This news has left many wondering whether this software update will be deployed beyond employees soon with some predictions suggesting that Tesla might offer FSD Beta V12 to the general public as early as mid-January. At this time, Tesla wants to test this software internally because if there are any glitches, they're easier to control and address than if they were with external customers. As you know, FSD is quite complex, and it could be a double-edged sword if not thoroughly tested. Once everything reaches a near-perfect state, Tesla will likely apply it to a large customer base rather than just company employees. Just last week, Tesla Scope shared screenshots from Tesla employees describing release notes for FSD Beta V12.1. The release notes seem to only display a paragraph outlining the changes that Tesla Scope expects to be added before the public release for non-employees. The account also notes that those participating in the initial deployment might include a total of 16,500 to 20,000 vehicles, and all vehicles in the initial deployment must adhere to strict non-disclosure agreements to avoid the risk of termination or removal from the FSD Beta program. FSD Beta version 12 transforms the autonomous driving system on the streets into a comprehensive neural network trained on millions of video clips eliminating the need for over 300,000 lines of C++ code written by humans. Elon showcased the initial build of FSD V12 in a live stream back in August, and he confirmed last month that this version has been rolled out to some employees. Musk also mentioned that FSD V12 would lose the beta designation, although it's still unclear whether this has happened, and the screenshots shared by Tesla Scope still include the term. After all, 
Tesla's technology is gradually coming together, including the Cybertruck. If the manufacturer continues to push production speed along with the upgrades to new technologies, 2024 is poised to explode in terms of revenue and media attention. The Model 2 is a highly promising model, and whether it appears in a sedan or hatchback design, maintaining the $25,000 price point is more than enough to attract customers. With a reputation for always aiming for the best and most premium electric vehicles, the performance of the EV Gen 3 is likely not to disappoint, even if it is a minimalist hatchback. Through Elon's comments on the design sketch for the Model 2, we gain a clear direction Tesla could take with this car. We can't imagine if it were actually released with Falcon wing doors, as hinted in Musk's comments. So, what are your predictions for the Model 2, and what kind of design do you expect when this Gen 3 EV is released? Yeah, so I think our track record proves that we can deliver the best cars, and we deliver the best cars in spite of, because of, these constraints. And I'd love to really show you what I mean and unveil the next-gen car. After the official launch of the Cybertruck, it became a pivot point in Tesla's product line. In recent times, we've seen the introduction of three new Tesla vehicle lines. Among them, an affordable $25,000 vehicle stands out as a fusion of power and design. Alongside that, there's the remarkable Tesla bus featuring a 300 kilowatt hour battery pack aligning with the revelations outlined in Master Plan Part 3. Lastly, practical minivans have emerged, promising convenience for global users with anticipated sales of up to 10 million units. How might Tesla establish a new milestone in the global EV market? To start things off, how will the entry of the affordable Model 2 impact the EV market? Elon Musk drew everyone's attention when he expressed interest in the unconventional design of the $25,000 concept car on the X platform. Featuring a design reminiscent of the Model X with Falcon wing doors and some front end enhancements similar to the refreshed models. From this, we can also get a sense of what the shape of the car that Elon Musk and his design team are aiming for will look like. When Tesla releases the next generation compact car priced at $25,000, it will accelerate rapidly with a speed at least twice that of the Model Y. It's expected to sell up to 3 million units per year or more. Furthermore, Tesla's next generation car will cause a significant disruption in the ICE industry. In a few years, Tesla will produce compact cars at an almost unbelievable speed, twice as fast or even faster than the Model Y. The $25,000 compact car is ready to drive the final nails into the coffin of traditional automakers. However, Tesla has recently remained silent about it in its roadmap and overall plan, and there's a significant reason for their silence. One of the reasons is the electric vehicle adoption rate, which has increased from 1.6% in the first quarter of 2019 to 11.8% in the third quarter of 2023. The EV adoption rate surged from 2.8% in the third quarter of 2020 to 4.2% in the fourth quarter, and it's been rapidly increasing since, reaching 7% within three years. From the second quarter of 2021 to the second quarter of 2023, the adoption rate increased from 4.7 to 9.1, a 5% rise in two years. Everything is accelerating, but there needs to be smaller and more affordable EVs worldwide for the adoption of electric cars to reach 100%. This is where the third generation Tesla comes into play. Currently, our EV adoption rate is at an all-time high of around 12% by the end of the third quarter of 2023. Musk stated in the recent Investor Day event that the next generation car will be priced below 50% of the Model 3 and Y platforms, achieved through innovations in manufacturing and increased efficiency. Ultimately, a straightforward exercise demonstrates the potential financial impact of producing the Model 2 at a production cost of $16,500 generating a profit of $8,500. In contrast, the production cost of the Model Y is $36,000, and the current starting price is $43,990 with a $7,990 profit margin. The production of the third-generation car is expected to yield even higher profits, and Tesla is eager to work diligently and swiftly to prepare for this. With the goal of significantly reducing the use of rare earth materials in car components and increasing their efficiency, Tesla has announced that their next 
drivetrain will use less than 75% of the silicon carbide without compromising performance or efficiency. This reduction combined with new techniques based on a 48 volt lithium ion auxiliary battery requiring thinner wiring will enable Tesla to achieve a highly cost effective production process while still delivering impressive performance. In the Comprehensive Plan Part 3 document, it is revealed that Tesla plans to equip its upcoming compact car with a 53 kilowatt hour LFP battery pack. The company considers this electric vehicle as a standard mode of transportation suitable for chemistries with lower energy density, primarily intended for short or medium distance journeys in and around the city. While Tesla has previously used LFP in mid-sized electric cars, like the Model 3 and Y, the 53 kilowatt hour LFP battery pack is expected to provide significantly higher energy storage capacity. Furthermore, the LFP 53 kilowatt hour battery pack will offer a minimum range of at least 300 miles, positioning it as a competitive and affordable option, or 250 miles, an ideal range for use within an excellent charging network across U.S. roads. This range seems ample for a reliable and cost-effective daily driver. In China, Tesla once provided the Model 3 with a CATL 55kWh LFP battery pack with a range of up to 291 miles. This is likely to become a reality as a potential competitor to the Model 2 in the US market. The Volkswagen ID2 will offer two battery options. One option includes a lithium iron phosphate cell with an LFP based battery pack having an energy storage capacity of around 34 kilowatt hours, enabling a range of 186 miles. The other option, featuring nickel manganese cobalt cells in an NMC based battery pack, is expected to achieve nearly 50 kilowatt kilowatt hours of energy storage capacity, allowing a range of 265 miles. This model is anticipated to be priced at around $27,500, with expectations for dealership availability in 2025 for the European market. In addition, the Renault 5, a model with no prospects of appearing in the US, is equipped with advanced battery solutions based on high voltage batteries, allowing it to achieve a range of 249 miles. The manufacturing cost of this type of battery is expected to be below $85 per kilowatt hour. Starting from 2024, Renault will seek to improve the performance of the battery. The driving range of the electric car will be expanded according to this proposal with new algorithm generations and software. The new battery will also be fully ASILD certified, integrating a cooling system to ensure maximum safety. Renault will also be able to optimize battery costs by using fewer components. The Tesla Model 2 may be unveiled at a special product event in the coming months in 2024. However, the market launch may not happen until before 2025. Musk mentioned on the Monroe Live podcast that Tesla is in the refinement stage of developing its affordable car model. We aren't sure if there are any limitations to this, but I can say that they could easily sell over 2 million units per year once all the factories ramp up large-scale production. Finally, interest rates will decrease and next year there will be a $7,500 tax credit in the US. This will make the new cars priced below $18,000 a decision that requires no second thoughts when purchasing. We genuinely doubt that it will be eligible for level 3 or 4 autonomy with the perfect combination of radar and Tesla Vision, where the car will handle all tasks without the need to focus on the driver's seat. Next is something that could be revolutionary for the public transport sector, the Tesla bus. What are people saying about it and how could it potentially disrupt the market? The next vehicle in Tesla's upcoming product lineup demonstrates that electrifying national bus fleets has become a top priority for transportation authorities. Buses passing through densely populated cities contribute to up to 10% of total transportation emissions in the United States, and they also contribute to noise pollution from the engine systems. With Musk's revelation in the Comprehensive Plan Part 2 about a self-driving commercial vehicle for human transport, the Tesla bus promises to achieve a million units in the first year of sales. Due to its large size, the Tesla bus will use a 300 kilowatt hour LFP battery. Once again, we expect the company's first passenger bus to borrow heavily from the Tesla Semi, not only in terms of design, but also in drivetrain and architecture. This indicates that its battery is smaller than the 500 and 800 kilowatt hour packs in the Semi, allowing it to achieve achieve a range of up to 350 miles, while Daimler's EvoBus has a shorter operating range of over 200 miles. More importantly, the use of LFP batteries with a commitment to battery lifespan and safety demonstrates the significant contribution of the manufacturer to the future environment, avoiding mass production of vehicles that still impact the environment. 
Additionally, the design combined with solar panels equipped on the bus will provide renewable energy. The recent completion of a significant delivery by BYD Mexico has supplied the City of Mexico's Transportation Authority with the first fleet of 20 electric buses, marking the beginning of a collaboration that includes a total of 55 pure electric buses. BYD's electric buses are 49 feet long, featuring a low floor design for easy passenger boarding and a maximum capacity of 130 passengers. However, its large and wide design has limited its travel range to 124 miles, despite a 300 kilowatt our battery capacity. This trade-off may result in discomfort with over 100 passengers on board. The large size of such buses can congest and crowd U.S. streets. Therefore, the Tesla bus with a length of 39 feet aims to provide a more comfortable urban environment. To make a fair comparison with smaller bus models, the Patera Catalyst E2 with a length of 35 feet is currently on the market, making Tesla bus a reasonably sized option. According to the World Resources Institute, the number of electric school buses in operation or delivered in the U.S. increased from 598 in March of 2022 to 1,285 in June of 2023. The number of electric school buses ordered or sponsored nearly tripled during the same period. By June of 2023, 49 states had commitments to electric school buses. Additionally, the U.S. Department of Transportation and the Federal Transit Administration are allocating $1.7 billion to 46 states and territories to fund the purchase of 1,700 buses, over half of which will be emission-free models. The figures indicate that the Tesla bus is a valuable option to Tesla's product lineup. Despite Musk's ambitious aspirations, and at times unrealized ambitions, at least in all aspects of Phase 3 of his plan, we finally have specific technical details for the new models. Last but definitely not least on today's list of amazing future projects from Tesla, the minivan. In what ways might this compact yet powerful vehicle revolutionize our approach to logistics and transportation of goods? Finally, the emergence of Tesla's commercial cargo vehicle is quite intriguing and eagerly anticipated. Ultimately, long-standing brands such as Ford, Stellantis, and Mercedes-Benz have entered this segment and achieved considerable success. Tesla has indicated that this model will use a 100 kilowatt hour battery with a high nickel content. Beyond consumer vehicles, Tesla has previously suggested the need for two additional types of EVs, a heavy-duty truck and an urban transport vehicle with higher passenger density. However, until now, only the Tesla Semi has appeared on this large market. This indicates that Tesla is working to establish a segment of vehicles mentioned in its comprehensive plan. Musk has previously mentioned the Tesla Tarago for several years, initially suggesting it could be based on the Model X SUV, although recent reports suggest that the Tesla Cybertruck pickup will be the platform for their new electric vans. This move will provide the US EV brand with its own answer to the Volkswagen ID Buzz, a van confirmed to be released in Australia in 2025 along with existing ICE-based competitors such as the Mercedes-Benz e Vito and LDV MIFA 9. It will be a large vehicle, taller, wider, and more spacious than the Cybertruck, making it highly suitable for families and individuals with disabilities. Its dimensions are comparable to other trucks in the market, with a height of 85 inches, a length of 225, and a width of 80. The vehicle's weight with a 100 to 150 kilowatt hour battery pack is approximately 6 to 7,000 pounds, yet it still achieves an operating range of up to 320 miles, on par with the current range of the Cybertruck. We believe Tesla vans will utilize the Cybertruck platform, featuring the 48-volt architecture that Tesla has freely shared as guidance to other automotive companies in the market. It's likely to incorporate the wire-controlled system and various features that contribute to the excellence of the Cybertruck, such as the structural pack with the 4680 cells underneath it. It must also have a stainless steel exoskeleton frame thinner to protect the vehicle in case of impact. However, it may need some modifications to meet the requirements of a van. While there might be concerns about the rigidity of these steel panels increasing the danger for pedestrians and other vehicles when facing this compact van, it's worth noting that all Tesla models have received a 5-star safety rating. Owners who prioritize safety are likely to switch to Tesla products immediately. Tesla will offer variants with only front seats and a completely empty rear space for those who want to live the van life off the grid. This allows you to build an extremely convenient mobile home with power supplied by solar panels. Equipping a Tesla vehicle with solar panels will significantly increase the cost of the vehicle while providing little value to those willing to pay for this option. 
The issue is that most passenger vehicles lack sufficient surface area and are not driven in suitable temperatures to make solar panels a feasible option for extending driving range. Some individuals have experimented with DIY projects in the past, but it hasn't proven very effective to argue that this is a viable option for Teslas. However, Tesla vans would be an ideal choice for a solar panel system due to their relatively flat and large roof surface area. It would provide around 30 miles of range per day for the vehicle, and the power generated would be sufficient to supply electricity for camping devices for up to three days. For camping enthusiasts, the current Cybertruck is an excellent option with its unique base camp accessories available in the Tesla store for $3,000. However, the price of the Cybertruck is relatively high and this compact van could be an even more affordable alternative. The Tesla minivan might be priced a bit higher, but in return, you get many unique designs that Tesla has implemented in its product line. Moreover, Tesla will also offer options for people with disabilities such as ramps with support for wheelchair users. This van could potentially function as a medical transport vehicle for those who need such an option. However, Tesla is planning to expand its operations beyond road and industrial vehicles. Part 3 of their master plan is not only limited to upgrading current vehicle lines, but also expanding into the maritime and aviation sectors, even addressing the battery requirements for these vehicles. Could Tesla's ambitious EV lineup pave the way for a new era in automotive innovation? And what groundbreaking advancements do you anticipate in Tesla's future models? Let's discuss in the comments section down below. We trust this video brought you a sense of relaxation. If it did, we'd appreciate your support. Kindly hit that like button and consider subscribing to our channel to join the Tesla Car World community. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting the bell icon. We value your feedback and your time, and so for that, we thank you and we hope to see you again next time. Until then, stay safe and have fun.